Hi, hi everyone. Today we are making, in our 12 Days to Christmas series, we're making Twinkles bath bombs. I don't know if I've shown these before. I don't think I have. So we've got our mixture all ready to go. It's already wet and fragrance. It's got the colour in it. Uh, we're going to hide some glitter in the centre. So I just wanted to show you how simple that is to do. Um, so let's go. So I'm just going to put a spoonful in there, press it down in the middle, put some glitter in there and then literally get our mix and squeeze it together. Just tap the excess off the bath bomb mould with your spoon and then as you know I put elastic bands around mine, just holds them together. If there's any heat in your room, your bath bombs will expand or they'll try to expand. Uh, so it's always best to put them somewhere cold after you've made them. Obviously not anywhere wet, but cold, yeah. So on a nice frosty day, I've been putting mine outside, but today, is damp it's wet it's raining so I'm going to need to put these uh, in my porch in my front porch it's so easy the glitter doesn't need to be mixed with anything you can just put it straight in there So what we have in this tub is um, 11 cups of bicarb, 5 cups of citric acid powdered, 1 um, cup of SLSA for the bubbles. We have 150 mils of sweet almond oil. Uh, 100 mils of fragrance uh, have I missed anything yeah just a couple of capfuls of um, polysorbit 80 but you you don't really need that in this um, mixture because there's not much color in there but it does help all of the oil colour and everything mix into the water instead of little bubbles of oil sitting on the top. So that's what your polysorbate's for. I don't think I've missed anything. And just a tiny bit of tur turquoise colour to colour it. Obviously you will just colour your bath bombs to your choice. So easy, it's nice and fast doing this technique with just one colour. And the, the bowl I have everything in, I think you know by now, it's just a cat litter tray. Of course, a new one. I haven't any animals here. So they haven't been used for anything other than making products or carrying products. I think tapping them just seems to help them unmould a little bit easier. In, I know on the video it sounds really loud, but I'm really not tapping them very hard at all. It's just a gentle tap. Oh, I 
didn't tell you the water content. Uh, water spray, I sprayed 15 sprays of water into this mixture. And then once they're unmoulded, we'll decorate them. We'll come back and decorate them. Again, try not to overfill the mould. It's something you'll just get used to. You'll get the feel of how much, how hard you need to squeeze. But the twisting action gets rid of the excess uh, mixture that doesn't need to be in there. Hope you're all set for Christmas. I'm a little bit more organised this year, this year than usual. Usually what I tend to do is wait until all my orders are finished and then go out and do all my Christmas shopping in one day. But I'm not doing that this year. It's far too stressful. So I've just been getting little bits as I've gone out. I'm not really a big lover of Christmas cards, but um, I don't know what it is about Christmas. It's just like something you're going to throw away, so it seems useless in a way. But of course I buy them and write them because of course we get them given as well. I've never been a big one for cards. I'd rather have some it to keep. I do like e cards though. I hope I've managed to get the glitter in every single one of these because I've noticed that when when I'm doing a video and I'm yapping away talking. When I unmould them, some of them might not have the sprinkles in them or or the extra little bits because I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing. And I'm actually just using a um, a big table serving spoon to put it in there. I've been looking at the uh, the bath bomb machines again. I've I've looked at them before, but they seem to be a little bit more time consuming than just pushing a bomb together like this. I mean, of course, I don't know, and um, unless I tried one, um, they might save a ton of time. I know that you don't need to leave the bomb in the mould uh, and that's a great thing I'm sure you'll need to get your recipe just right I also don't know how they work with the bubble bubbling agent um, I, I've noticed that most of the companies that sell the bath bomb presses um, they have their own recipe but I'm sure you could probably tweak your own recipe to get it right. I'm sure it'll work. So if anyone has experience with them, I really would be interested to know if they save time. And I'm talking about people that make masses of bath bombs. More bath bombs than what I make, that's for sure.
I mean, I probably only make 50 bath bombs a day. That's it. really like the shape of these bath bombs as well they're not quite round they're sort of a, an oval not oval but they're slightly ovaled and I just really like the shape of them and the size all right I think we'll get one more out of that And then with what's left over, I'll just make some small ones, but I've used up my, uh, I just made 50 earlier, so I've used up my silver moulds. Um, and the glass ones are a little bit smaller um, than these ones, and I really need them all to be the same size. So once I've unmoulded them, then I'll use up what I've got left in here, which might make three if I'm lucky, but definitely two. Okay, so we're back in a tick to one mould, then decorate. <laughs> 